Hello YouTube, today we have Eric Winters, and you got second place both times, uh, playing what? Ubel. Ubel. This is Ubel post uh, Legacy of Destruction, right? That's what it's, that yeah. called. That's what it's called? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the set gave the deck new cards, and of course you were the one to play it. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, do you like the new cards? Oh yeah. They helped a lot? Too much, actually. Nice. Like, um, I, I, I can show you later. Okay. It, it's crazy. How many cards are in the main deck? 42. All right, let's see your main deck. All right. So for the Ubo's, for the Ubo's, you played two Ubo and then one Ultimate and one Terror. The reason why you uh, played two of these because now you have the rank ten. So if you do use one of the Ubo's, at least you have a Ubo in deck or graveyard to be able to still continue to play the game. And also, Finier, Finier, banishing this face down kind of hurts, and them flame burging. And to spell trap zone kind of sucks too, so you want to make sure that you have multiple copies. And then you play three three Lotus. Um, this is almost this is the other one card combo. This gets you into Spirit, and then Spirit gets you into the continuous flow. Um, this is another card that came out in lead. So gruesome grave spermer. What does this do? You reveal it from hand quick effect. Uh, you summon it. You can pop a fiend you control. Um, or destroy one you build. Oh yeah, one yeah. monster messes it. Okay. So basically, like one of your fiend monsters um, that are you build. It's really nice. I don't use the pop effect because I would rather use Shavara most of the time. But this is a good way to extend into your unchained plays. And also, you banish it from the graveyard and you summon a fiend from your hand to your graveyard. That's zero zero. So it really helps you continue to play in the game. And then I had, I also play one of these. Um, there's times my opponent would just pass. And all my monsters are zero, so I'll just add this, summon on their field, and just kill them basically. And then this is the the nightmare throne. Yes, it is a one a one card combo that can potentially get you plus five. So what does this do? Uh, you add a zero zero fiend from your deck to your hand, or you can destroy a monster that mentions you bow, mm -hmm. which is really nice, especially with the. Um, the, the God Package, the Ravael, a Dark Back and the Beast, stuff like that. Um, you play three Nightmare Pain, pretty standard. Um, I was thinking, I was I was thinking of um, cutting it to one or two, but so far I've I liked it at two. Um, you play three Back and the Beast, and then three Opening. This card just says you bell, even though it doesn't, but it basically <laughs> does. Um, the God card that I've drew all day long, I love it. Um, super Bowl. It's Super Bowl. Um Also, another card that gets you in your level one to one card combo. Um, Call of the Grave, the Unchained Package, two level sixes, Escape. Some people play Abomination, the other trap. Um, I just don't like it, personally. I prefer this one because it helps me interrupt my opponent a little bit more than what my board is already doing. Um, and the only hand traps I play is three Nib, three Imperm. Um, Nib is just too good this format, in my opinion. And Imperm just helps me. David um, gets 20. Eric gets 20. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's <laughs> it for the main deck. Gets 10. Nice. Eric gets five. Gets five. For the Eric extra deck. Alright, see your extra deck. It's two two Yama, one Rage. Um, this card um, is really good. It summons any fiend. Uh, this card you can add any fiend from your graveyard if they get popped or destroyed by battle. Or card effect is really good, and then for the rage goes into SP, or you can go into Mudcracker. Like his rage is any dark. Right? Yeah, any dark. So you can just SP a little night. Yeah, it's a quick fix. Yeah, one dark link monster. This card's really good. So you can just SP. SP just it's um, rage is three interruptions with SP, or you can go into Muck um, for recursion. If you know your opponent isn't really going to do much, the fusions you play. These are mine. A lot of people play branded in my locals. Uh, obviously, you do how your deck to deck how you please. But a lot of people play branded, so I just want to make sure that I can at least super poly their board. Um, and only two loving defenders. Yeah, only two. Um, I thought about playing three, but it's a little bit too cloggy. And I typically only summon one, and it's only like the deal the initial damage for game, and then we go into get game two, <laughs> and then for the ranks. Um, the package that helps you one um, OTK, and then this, I'm thinking about cutting this. I don't know what I want to add. Maybe another 
card to link with Rage because I rarely ever summon this card, unfortunately. And then the new one. Yeah, the new one, it is the Omni Negate. You can detach one to Omni Negate, or you can detach two to Omni Negate and destroy um, a card in the field. It's really nice. Um, I've summoned it a few, a few times. It, it's helped, especially in the late game when I put my opponent on top top deck. I'll try to make this so whenever they do top deck, I can negate it. And the one Typhon. Nice. Um, Typhon, I've summoned it once today, and it's been okay. Let's see your side deck. The side deck. Um, because people play Brandon. Um, and Snake Eyes still at almost full power. That's crazy. Um, people like playing tier. I don't know why, but they do. Um, board Breakers is just three evenly, three Lightning Storm. Or two just, Lightning, two Lightning. Or two Lightning Storm, three evenly. Um, it just helps clear boards because there's times that my hands can't really do that very often. So I want to make sure that I can clear boards so I can avoid the Imperm, avoid the um, Monster Negates and stuff like that. Um, Tenpai is becoming, I guess, relevant. Um, it's cheap as heck, but... Just to say synchro, and they can just stop playing the game. Um, <laughs> even though they have already, they already have our time with U Bell. It's just another way to say stop in case they, in case they draw super poly and they want super poly us. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Well, thank you, winners. Thank um, you. Congratulations on your pla your placements. Anything else to say about the U Bell deck? Um, it's really fun. It's consistent. I wouldn't recommend playing Prosperity. I don't think it's good anymore, especially when you need your um, your extra deck a little bit too much now. Compared to last last format, um, but yeah, shout out to top to top deck scrubs. Shout out to Isaac for you know the Euro cards, and shout out to David, this handsome dude right here, who is got first place. With me. Nice. All right, well, thank you, winners, thank and you. Uh, have a good night. All right, you as well.